that when you are auscultating, palpate the pulse. And sometimes I have seen people saying that first heart sound is the one which is coming with the pulse, isn't it? A number of times I have seen people answering that sound which is coming with the pulse is first heart sound. Now just see, it's can't, it can't be possible to have your first heart sound with the pulse. Because for, for auscultation, you have to have a rough idea of the cardiac cycle in your mind. So what you have to really assess, first heart sound, how is it produced? First heart sound, closure of mitral and tricuspid valve, that's the first heart sound. So it's at the end of diastole, diastole completed after atrial contraction, your both the tricuspid and uh, mitral valve closes and produce a sound, first heart sound. After that, you have a period of isovolumic contraction within LV and RV. So there is a phase before you auscultate the pulse, or oh, before you palpate the pulse, because you are going to palpate the pulse at the end of rapid ejection phase, which is after this isovolumic contraction. And your first heart sound is coming at this stage, before the pulse. So the sound which is coming before the pulse is first heart sound. But it's almost impossible to assess a pulse and then coincide it with the heart sound. Whether heart sound is coming before the pulse or after the pulse, you can't do that. It's practically impossible. Theoretically, it's right. Because here, after also volumic contraction, you are going to have rapid ejection phase. Then you have slow ejection phase and in this slow ejection phase a point came where your LV pressure reduces from aorta or your RV pressure reduces from pulmonary arteries. That is the time when your pulmonary and aortic valve close and this is the point of second heart sound. So first heart sound and second heart sound, these both are bracket of systole. Systole starts after the first heart sound and it's end at second heart sound. Although after second heart sound you have a brief period of isovolumic relaxation of few milliseconds kind of thing where your pressures of RA and LA are increasing from LV and RV for a transient period and then both of these valves open up and after opening you have a phase of rapid filling, then you have a phase of diastasis and then lastly atrial contraction and then after atrial contraction what happens? Closure of mitral and tricuspid valve. And this closure is again in a way that your LV and RV pressures are slightly starting to increase from RA and LA. It only happens when your LV and RV pressures are increasing and the both are closed. And then again the same cycle starts, isovolumic contraction, rapid ejection. Now the thing is during auscultation, if your patient heart rate is not very fast, Important thing is to gauge this duration. That systole is, is lesser in duration as compared to diastole. So what you do, you after listening the sounds, try to assess which sound is coming after a longer pause. So just make a habit of auscultating normal people and just judging which sound is coming after a longer pause. This sound which is coming after a longer pause is S1. And the one which is coming just after that is S2. That's the way to judge first and second heart sound. And actually this auscultation is all a music, a rhythm, which has different like instrument in, in, a, in a whole band, you have a bass line music, 
सो यू हैव टू मेक योर सेल्फ हैबिचुअल ऑफ जजिंग दिस बेस लाइन म्यूजिक डक 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 देन यू हैव वेन योर एबनॉर्मेलिटीज केम यू हैव एडिशन ऑफ एडिशनल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स इन इट मर्मर्स क्लिक्स दिस दैट and that can again only be recognized once you have have heard these abnormal sounds within this bass line music of s1 and s2 but first for a beginner it's important to make yourself habitual of hearing this bass line music because this bass line music will be there with every kind of abnormality which gave you an idea what is the status of first and second heart sound sisley and diastole and then once you really become expert of judging first and second sounds in normal auscultation then the step next step is intensities splittings any details of these sounds and then additional sounds and then everything but for to really ex become expert in auscultation you should be really master in judging normal people with auscultating and getting where is the which one is the first and which one is the second heart sound so from now onward make yourself habitual of auscultating the normal people and even in normal person you will found that even variation in this first and second there is a spectrum of everything when to say normal and when to say abnormal even in these phases you may found some sounds which may be normal so that means you have this capability of judging during auscultation what is normal is what is abnormal from where is the spectrum of abnormality is as because for a new person who is auscultating sometime even the things like flow kind of sounds are coming and he systolic murmur diastolic murmur pata nahi kya hai so many findings and actually there is no finding there because this is the x spectrum of normality and then judge abnormal and even in abnormal you found a spectrum S some some of the patients having very subtle kind of abnormal murmur some are having very fine easily heard murmur that's the way to judge an auscultation so today what will we'll be leaving you on these basics make a template of presentation and auscultate the normal patients as much as possible in next session we'll going to really judge abnormal findings and make you in a, in a situation to judge those findings see thank you very much <laughs>